The St. Charles County Collective Revenue is responsible for collecting the property taxes and dispersing it back out to the political subdivisions. We try to make paying taxes as easy as possible for the citizens. You can mail your payment and we go by the date of postmark from the United States Post Office. You can come into the office and pay at the cashier windows. We have a drop box out on the street. You can pay online. We have two different websites, one which is backed by PayPal, the other which is backed by Official Payments Corporation, which is the company the IRS uses for income taxes, or by an interactive voice response, better known as a toll-free 800 number. The Collector of Revenue Office has several state laws that it is bound to uphold. So when late payment penalty and interest is added to a bill, it's not something that we have the discretion to just remove. It can be very frustrating for a taxpayer, especially if you just accidentally wrote the check wrong. A difference between the numbers and the words will cause a problem with the payment because by law, we have to go by the written out words on a check. And it happens, unfortunately, that you will write the right amount in the box with numbers, but the wrong amount in words, and then whatever is shorted in those words ends up as a late payment in January for a lot of people. The Collector of Revenue website actually lists all of the taxes paid for several years back, and you can break it down to each individual entity that receives the taxes. You can see how much goes to the state, how much goes to the County General Revenue Fund, how much goes to the school district in which you're located, the fire district, the city, the ambulance district, all those different public services that your tax dollars help to fund. Real estate reassessments happen every other year in the odd numbered years in the state of Missouri. And in those years, everyone receives a projected tax liability notice. So around April, maybe early May, Every citizen who owns real estate in the county should receive a notice of reassessment and a projected tax liability notice to give you some idea of what your taxes will be in December. It's very important for people to understand that everyone gets a copy of the real estate tax bill. If you own real estate in St. Charles County, we send you a copy of the statement so that you can see where your tax dollars are going and what they are funding. Even if you escrow your taxes, you will get a tax statement. You don't need to submit a payment. You may want to verify it against your escrow statement to make sure that the mortgage company is pulling the right amount. It's the individual taxpayer's responsibility to make sure they get a bill. The state law says failure to receive does not relieve you from paying the bill on time. And if it's paid on or after January 1st, there are statutory late payment penalty and interest that must be added to the bill. So I like to remind people that if you're a citizen in the state of Missouri, there are three very important dates. March 1st to file your personal property assessment form, and those will be mailed out later in January. April 15th to pay your income taxes, and December 31st to pay your property taxes. If you don't have a property tax bill, by Christmas when people are sitting around talking about them, sometimes that happens, then call the office, go to the website, and make sure that you have the information so you can pay before December 31st and save yourself any late payment penalty or interest. When it comes to questions about your tax bill, it really depends on what the question is. If you have forgotten to list a vehicle or a trailer or a motorcycle or a boat, something of that nature on your personal property tax bill, you need to contact the assessor's office first because they are responsible for those items listed on the tax bill. If you're concerned about how much money a certain entity is getting, you would want to contact that entity because they each set their own tax rate. If the question is, I didn't get my receipt, I misplaced my receipt, that's the type of question that would be directed to the Collector of Revenue Office.